Hey guys, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a great week. So on today's video, I am doing this spider queen Halloween makeup look and I really like the way it turned out. I was super stoked because I could actually fit these huge contacts in my eyes. These have a term like S, they're like S-C-L-E-R-A, Celera, Cicelera, I don't even know how to say it, but I've never been able to fit these in and I did a really good method of just lifting up my eyelid, slipping it under and then lifting the bottom one down, slipping it down. Honestly, where were my skills to put these in when I needed them? Like for all those demon and creepy looks that I did back then, I was like, oh my gosh, I just use small contacts. These make such a difference and they make the look look very creepy. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I upload every Monday at 8 a.m. New Zealand time and YouTube shorts every day. And if you want to see anything else, please let me know down below in the comments like what other Halloween tutorials you want to see because I'm only filming like one or two more videos for this Halloween and then already Halloween will be over for this year 2023. So how crazy is that? Time is going so fast. Um, it probably would have been my like 12th video by the time I finish all these videos which is really good because usually I only get around like eight Halloween YouTube videos up a year but it's probably because I do this full time as well so I've got a lot more time to film creative looks um, and people have been loving them over on TikTok as well as YouTube Shorts so I'm glad you guys have been liking my videos and for all the feedback and love and comments honestly it means so much to me um, and a lot of you said my skills have improved and oh my gosh I've gotten so much better. The idea to do a spider with eyes on my forehead was inspired by my friend Alicia. Her name is also Alicia so thank you Alicia if you're watching this because you made me do this look and I would have never done a spider this year if it wasn't for you and I think spiders are so creepy and people associate like spiders with Halloween so yeah thanks Alicia for giving me the idea because I wouldn't have done this otherwise if it wasn't for you so yay. But yeah let me know what you guys think down below in the comments um, yeah, I think this would scare people for Halloween. Ooh, the eyes are creepy. So anyway, if you want to know how to do this spider makeup tutorial for Halloween, then just keep on watching. So I start with my bare face and I take the super color clown white face paint, which I really like. This is from Kryolan and I take a beauty blender, just the same one that I would apply my usual makeup with. And I put this white paint all over my face and body and neck and I actually don't make it like super opaque so I only take a thin layer and I kind of just wanted to be like really washed out looking but not like stark white like a clown. Um, and I quite liked how a pinky hue was coming through as well. I don't know if it's because I had pink in my sponge. I think I did by the looking at this video. Um, so yeah, added like a nice little pink hue to it. And then I take some extra white and just make it really pigmented on my chin and under eye area. Now I'm taking the Body Effects Vibrant Palette, um, which is what I've been using a lot for Halloween looks. I really love this one and I highly recommend it. And I just take a bright paint with the white eyeshadow um, and that's just to blend things easily on top and so it doesn't transfer as easily. And I'm taking a small brush with the black from my eyeshadow palette and doing this like kind of forehead pattern. Um, I looked at several ideas online like and looked up images to kind of see what to do for the face and I just thought I want this like really structured and cheekbones and just grey, black and white kind of vibes to this spider. So I'm doing around my jawline and cheekbones and forehead with that same brush that I used to um, set the white paint with. Then I just sharpen up the cheekbones a little bit with the black eyeshadow and just blend this to my cheeks a little bit more and do it down my nose as well, giving myself a really crisp nose contour. And then I do the collarbone because I just wanted this to like stand out. You don't have to do this because I, I do shadows underneath the spider legs that I do on my chest and this kind of like got in the way. But yeah, you don't have to do it, but I did it anyway. And then I dip my eyeshadow brush in black and a little bit of white, mix them together to make this grey shade. So I'm just blending this on both of my eyelids. You don't need to be perfect for this. And then I take the black shade and draw like this line down my mouth. I don't really know what I was doing and I was like, spiders don't really have a mouth. But I quite liked the snake makeup tutorial that I did with the line over my mouth. That's kind of where the idea came from. 
And now I'm just taking more black and deepening up that eye makeup look, just making my nose look really elongated and a little bit wider, just blending this eyeshadow through the crease. Then I thought, okay, I might want to do like a winged liner. I think this looks really effective. So I took my eyeshadow and just did a black eyeliner with it and it darkened up that like inner corner. It's funny because the spider's got glam makeup. It's almost like editorial makeup. Um, but I ended up really liking how this turned out. So now I'm taking the Thin Lizzy eye pencil and just the dark brown side and I'm drawing on the circles. Um, don't rush this because you want the circles to be fairly even. And then I'm drawing on the little pincers of the spider. I don't even know what the bloody technical terms for all these parts of the spider are. So don't come for me. Um, you'd think I would know considering I was obsessed with bugs and insects. I probably used to know, but I can't remember right now. Um, so I'm just doing those things of the spider. You know, the little clippers, what they eat with, like to tear up all their insects with. Um, and I'm just mapping out where they go and little sharp points at the end. Then I take that same black eyeshadow and a small eyeshadow brush and I just slowly build up these with black eyeshadow, making them really dark around the outsides. And then I just slowly blend it inwards um, to create like a nice 3D illusion. It makes it look like it's kind of like sticking out of my skin. So this took quite some time, um, but yeah, you just want to go slowly with it. And a good tip if you are doing a makeup look that's taking over two hours, blast your favorite music because honestly it helps me so much. I just take my huge JBL sis, uh, speaker that I um, am borrowing from my sister at the moment because she's in Thailand and it's really cool. Like I honestly blast my favorite Spotify playlists and just listen to music which helps me get through the makeup looks that take so long. But this, this makeup look only took me like three and a half hours by the way so it wasn't too bad so now I'm taking the Wet n Wild HD Waterproof Eyeliner which is my favorite eyeliner this is so pigmented and super black which is what you need for a Halloween look so I highly recommend this um, if you use a pen liquid liner that's just bound to run out really quick because you're using so much of it and you're also drawing on top of paint so I find it ruins the um, felt tip pens so do not do that because I've gone through so many liquid liners over the years this one was amazing and you can get wet and wild from farmers by the way so yeah it's just a little dip bottle that you can just dip in the um, liquid liner and then just paint it on um, you can also do this with water activated paint but I find liquid liner just to be super dark and super black and that's what I wanted for these little pincers on my face and you don't have to worry about getting them super even so now i'm drawing around the outsides with that black liquid liner just to make them stand out even more the goal of this was to make these look really 3d looking because these and also the eyes on my forehead are like the kind of star of the show they're like the star of the makeup so i really wanted to work on these and make them look quite realistic so now I'm using that liquid liner to colour in these little circle eyes um, and yeah just filling that all in. I quite find this satisfying watching this back like filling in these little circles with the black liquid liner. Um, and if you're not good at drawing on circles freehand you can probably just get like a coin like a dollar coin or a 10 cent coin and literally draw around them on your forehead which is a good little tip if you want like perfect circles on your face. So now I'm using this to go over that mouth area. Um, yeah, just drawing and extending on that line. And then I take the black eyeshadow and a small angled brush and I just go around these circles because I want it to look like it's kind of like bulging out of my skin, these eyes. And I wanted it to look a little bit more 3D looking. So yeah, I just go around it with this eyeshadow and then I darken it up. So I just go around and um, add even more depth. This took me quite a while just going around each one and adding in depth and you can just watch here what I'm doing. Um, but anyway guys, what are you guys going to be for Halloween? So this coming Saturday it is Halloween weekend and also we celebrate Halloween the following weekend as well which ends up being the 4th of November. Um, so yeah, me and my friend are going out. We're going to two Halloween parties like out in town and I'm so looking forward to it. 
Um, it's going to be really exciting. One of the parties is where my friend works, so she's helping set it up the day before. So I guarantee the decor and everything's going to look amazing if she's helping set it all up. Um, and yeah, she's my go-to Halloween buddy. We honestly go out for Halloween every year and I enjoy doing her makeup and yeah, it will be really fun, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, I don't know what to do for Halloween yet. I don't know if I should do something easy or if I should do like my uh, ripped and stitch clown. I don't know if you've seen that tutorial. It was like two weeks ago. Or if I should do this. Like I don't really know what to do. I don't think I can do this because I can't have the big contacts in my eyes for too long. It actually got quite irritating, being honest. Um, but yeah, I'm usually good with wearing contacts. These ones are a little sore, but it doesn't help that they're like a few years old. And I was like to Matthew, I don't even know if I can have these in my eyes, being honest, but whatever, my eyes are fine now. Um, so I take this white liquid liner and just draw like shines on the pincers to make them look more 3D. And also I highlight the middle of these little pincers to make them look more 3D and like rounded things. So that everywhere. Um, this liquid liner is from the brand Details. Um, and I can't remember where I got this from. I think you can get it from Body FX. I might be wrong though. But I get all of my things from Body FX, including this palette, the Face Paint Rainbow Palette, which is my favorite ever. It's water activated paints. Um, and I just take the white paint and some water and I just draw around these circles just to make them look like they're popping out even more. You didn't have to do this, it looked fine without it, but I thought I would do that. Now adding some shines to the eyes because I want to make it look more like an eye and as you can see here that just completely changed the circles and made them look more like a spider eyeball. Now I'm taking the white eyeshadow from that Body Effects Vibrant palette and just a small brush and just blending some white eyeshadow on the other side of the eye because I wanted it to look even more 3D and realistic and I'm just drawing in some more shines with that water activated paint. Um, into the eyeballs and I was quite happy with how they turned out being honest So now I'm taking the black paint again And I'm just drawing on my winged liner and drawing underneath my eyes And I'm taking the black eye pencil from Thin Lizzy again and just drawing in my tight line and my waterline to make it look super black um, And you have to just touch this up a few times throughout the night if you are wearing contact lenses because your eyes can water a little bit So I, I recommend bringing one of these with you in your bag if you are doing a creative look that requires black in your waterline and if you are wearing contact lenses. So I draw in the inner corner just making that super dark and I end up like carrying down the nose contour quite the way down and then I thought okay I need my eyes to be even darker so I just do a winged liner with the liquid liner just going on top of that eyeshadow and then I also use it to go around these eyes just to add some dimension and depth and some darkness. Look required to know my literally black, like a black eyeshadow, eyeshadow and paint. So literally most of my looks I try to use minimal makeup products because I want it to be like quite um, accessible for everybody and people that are struggling at the moment like money wise and they can't afford many products so I always try and stick to Minimal products for my makeup look, so I hope you guys um, appreciate that. Um, and I don't like using heaps of makeup products anyway. Like, I find you don't actually need that many makeup products. So what I'm doing is I'm mapping out the legs on my chest with a black eyeshadow. Um, and I'm doing this on both sides. And I was like, oh my gosh, I think spiders have eight legs. And I only did six. Um, but I thought it would look a little bit busy if I did eight legs. You guys can though, like I think uh, some smaller legs like around the neck area pointing in would have been great as well, but I just didn't want to take any longer on this look. I started this look at like 4pm, so it was already quite late when I started it, so I didn't want to take any more time. But I think the six legs look fine anyway, um, so yeah, I'm just mapping them all out and then eventually I go over this with the black liquid liner look super dark and pigmented. Now I'm just drawing in the line down my eye like the other one. I don't know why I always start on something and then like don't finish it till later. I'm all over the place when it comes to my makeup look sometimes. So as you can see here I'm using that black liquid liner to go over the legs. This took quite some time. You can do this with water activated paints. It probably will be way quicker if you just do this with a, a paintbrush and 
just swipe on the black paint. Um, now I'm highlighting those little pincers, making them look even more 3D. This is the white water activated paint and this small little brush is from Warehouse Stationery. But if you also want other good brushes, then I recommend Body Effects. I've got heaps of um, paint brushes on there as well and heaps of things for Halloween. It's my go-to makeup online store. So if you need anything for Halloween, then quickly order. They do fast shipping if you are from New Zealand. Um, yeah, they do eyeshadows, paints. Um, water activator paint, contact lenses, makeup, prosthetics, liquid latex, scare blood, like all, anything, anything special effects or makeup related, they have it. So go and check them out. Uh, so now I'm taking the white paint and I'm adding little highlights to the legs. So this just makes it look more like realistic, like one of those little black widow spiders with the like um, little thin black legs and then they have like the little shines on them when they turn in certain lights so yeah, this just will help to make it look more realistic and more 3d i kind of rushed it i mean i wasn't taking that much time on it you don't have to be super fussy with a look like this because i think it's just quite effective anyway and honestly the contact lenses just made the look look so cool so if you can fit in those contact lenses you should definitely try it they're not the most affordable contact lenses. I think I got mine on sale for 80 New Zealand dollars down from 120 New Zealand dollars. So they're, they're definitely one of the most expensive contacts, but they definitely are friggin epic. So now what you want to do is you want to add some shadows underneath the legs because you want to make it look 3D. Like the legs are just on top of your chest and you haven't just drawn them on. So you can kind of see here by what I mean by you don't have to draw in the collarbone and those little like rib markings because it kind of um, uh, deferred from the shadow. Like it, I mean, it doesn't look bad actually. It actually looks like those shadows are part of the legs. But here I just use the black eyeshadow and blend it in with a little bit of white and just kind of go a centimeter under the leg um, just to make it look like a shadow and blend it in with my finger. Now I'm just going to do some details on the face, so I don't really know what these are, but I decided to do some like pointy lines, I don't know, I just wanted it to look quite like sharp. Um, spiders are different, so yeah, I just thought I'd do anything really, and it still looked good. I did this little like cross in the mouth, I didn't really know if I liked that, but overall I think it looked fine. Um, and now I take that white water activated paint and I'm doing a spider web. So I wasn't going to do this and I'm so glad I did because I was like, I can't transform into a spider and not have some kind of like spider web on my face or body. So um, I just did this and spider webs are pretty easy to draw. You just want to follow the lines in like the same kind of shape like this. Um, yeah, I can't really explain until you just watch what I'm doing as you can see here. Darkening up the lines and just going over them a few times so they're super white and then just yeah filling in the lines like this one at a time from line to line so yeah it wasn't actually that hard and if you need reference you can look online for a spiderweb reference but if you do this like once or twice you'll find it pretty easy um, to do this again so yeah just filling that in and then I ended up doing the spiderweb on my face coming up my face a little bit because I wanted it to continue up on my face um, but I don't show you that till later. Um, I just go over these little black points with some white highlights. I just kind of um, do anything here really. Um, yeah I'm just making little details, darkening everything up, adding some more white under my eyes just to like make it stand out and just to brighten up that area a little bit. Then I go around the little pincers with some dark shadows just to add even more of a 3D effect and I really liked the way they looked. Um, and then I put white paint in my hair. I was going to do black paint, but I was like, mm. I remember doing my detailed skull look and I, I thought the black paint was a bit intense. So I'm glad I did this white paint and I ended up taking my hair out of this ponytail and just painting down the sides of my hair as well. I kind of did like a half up, half look like this. I just put in some bobby pins. Now I'm doing the shadows to the spider web, so I'm using that same brush like I did for the legs and just doing a line about a centimeter away from the spider web lines. Then I thought, oh my goodness, what am I going to do with my eyebrows? And I thought I needed some kind of eyebrows, um, even though spiders, I mean, I guess they're fluffy, aren't they? So eyebrows, I guess they're 
fine in this instance so I just darken them in with some black eyeshadow and that same brush now for the contact lenses the star of the show as you can see here they're from color view but I don't know exactly what brand I got them from so I just open my eyelids slide them up and then pull my lower eyelid down and slide them down um, and I've never been able to do that before I saw a tutorial ages ago and they said bend it in half and then put it in no do not do that because that is way too hard <laughs> so I end up drawing the spider web on my chin area and then I use this mascara from Max and Louie which is a Mount Monganui makeup brand and I absolutely love it this mascara is probably my favorite product from the line then I put on these lashes by Glam by Manicare um, and by the way I'm not wearing these lashes or mascara in the intro I completely forgot to put them on but yeah they just made it look pretty so anyway I hope you guys liked this makeup look I really loved the way it turned out I think it looks so creepy and effective and it only took me three and a half hours but I think that's because I was being fussy and I was getting distracted so you guys could probably do it in like two and a half three hours um, and yeah I really like this go and scare people on Halloween I know people will love this one subscribe to my channel and like this video if you did and I'll see you guys in my next week's video Bye.